I reap. I slash my enemies to satisfy, but it is not enough. I wish to reunite with an old friend, offering a souvenir for an old acquaintance. The land is fast, expanding as far as the eye can see. The sky without boundaries, no ceiling. I raise my sickle and prepare for the night. I'm Gordo, otherwise known as the Harvester of Greed. I'm the EXS of Greed, Snatcher, and a former member of Amnesia. Wanna join me in the Hollow Knight? Well, let's have some fun! The sky is red, which means another night is about to begin. How many of them does this make? Are you going again tonight, Gordo? Yeah. Hilda is off doing her own thing again. I have no idea what's going on in her head. If she keeps it up, her power will overwhelm her and she'll become another void. Most likely. Should that occur, she'll just become another troublesome enemy to deal with. She can really be an irritating bitch sometimes. I think we should stop her before that happens though. Agreed. Still, it'll work to our benefit if Hilda manages to distract everyone. All that's left is void hunting. Or rather, in-birth hunting. Hopefully, Leech Christ will fall into our trap. It's been six months already, huh? I've heard all the rumors, but I have no idea what they've been up to. It makes you realize how powerless you are sometimes. All the more reason not to rush things, Gordo. It's better to take out one person at a time. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to head out for a bit. Why don't you just sit tight and wait for a master to return? Hey, who are you calling master? I mean, who's master? <laughs> it was a joke. Damn, you really need to pull the stick out. Immortalize! Gordo. Lynn. I was wondering why a little girl was out so late. Never thought I'd run into the Princess of the Nightblade. It's an honor. This might be hard to believe, but this might be our very first encounter. Gordo, Harvester of Greed. So it would seem. And picking a fight with a little shrimp like you... It's not something that'd mean all that much to me, win or lose. Hardly something I'd want to remember, really. <laughs> It sounds like you dislike me, but I assure you that one's physique will play a minor role in the outcome of our battle. No shit. This is more about appearances. Think about it. A scruffy old man like me beating up on a little girl? People would think I was the monster here. Then again, I'm technically the bad guy here. So Missy, you plan on waltzing into the abyss tonight? Yep. My plan is to put an end to your precious paradoxes scheme. So, what are you going to do now? It seems you're asked out. Win or lose. So why don't you just stay out of it? You're mistaken. I'm no longer a part of Amnesia. Which means I couldn't care less about what happens to that woman. However... <laughs> you're a bright one. However, I can't just walk away from a prize like you. Also, you might be connected to my main target, the Red Knight of Leaked Christ. Princess of Eternity, treasure of the Nightblade, the Pulse of the Hollow, the power contained in your flesh, the perseverance of ages. Maybe you could teach this young pup a thing or two. <laughs> Perhaps. Why don't we consider this a formal introduction? But I warn you, this lesson may cost you more than you think. Immortalize! Gordo. Yuzuriha. It's... you. What are you thinking, showing off your nasty-ass belly button? You better not be here to cause trouble again. Whoa. Where do you get off talking about my belly button? My belly button is super cute! 
I'm doing the world a favor by showing it off. Okay, I'm so sorry for grossing you out. Anyway, looks like we're both kind of busy tonight, so why don't we just go our separate ways? Hold it! I'm not letting you walk away. If you're still looking for that crimson guy from that lightning organization, I'll stop you. Just like I did the last time. I thought I made myself clear. While I'm still alive, you're not wanted here. And as for that crimson guy, why do you want him? Um, what was your name again? Gordo the... Exhibition Mist? Hmm... I'd probably die before I finished explaining everything to you. I'll spare you the details, but basically it's about revenge. A friend of mine evolved into a void and the Crimson Knight cut him down. Necessary or not, I can't let that go unpunished. Got it now? Stop playing mind games and get the hell off the stage! I'm moving on and there's nothing you can do to stop me. And don't expect me to hold back like I did last time. Immortalize! Gordo. Oh dear. Hey there, Missy. You're one of those leaked Christrons, right? What brings you out of the house this night? I take it you're here to bring down Paradox? I see there's no point in hiding it anymore. Yes, you are correct. And judging by your attitude, you seem to harbor some resentment against Lead Christ. What brings you into this place? Yeah, I do. I don't have anything against you personally, but I have a grudge against your organization. I don't know why you want Paradox, but I'm going to have to stop you here. In our pursuit of justice, we sometimes do things that incur the enmity of others. And we cannot apologize for all of our actions. But I will not walk away because you hold a grudge against us. No shit. I didn't expect you to. This would get really awkward if you didn't fight back. <sighs> Before we begin, at least tell me one thing. I won't ask why, but against whom in Lead Christ do you hold this grudge? Yeah, I wouldn't want your ghost to come back and haunt me if I accidentally killed you. So I might as well tell you. The Crimson Knight. That should be enough information to work from, right? He'll be joining you shortly in the afterlife, so you can ask him why I want him dead then. Crimson Knight. The Void Hunter, Wagner. To be honest, he's considered a troublemaker with Lead Christ. Very well, let us do battle. Should I win, I will take up your grudge and move on. Immortalize! Gordo. Hilda. So, this is the Abyss, the supposed center of the Hollow Knight, right? Paradox. I mean, Hilda. I know you're there, so just come out already. Oh, I was wondering who came calling. Gordo the Harvester. Welcome to where my desires hold sway, at the altar where light and darkness meet. Have you finished avenging your little friend? Ah, uh, well, yeah. The Avenger thing really isn't my style. Solves nothing. Still doesn't mean I don't want to pummel that crimson prick and watch him writhe in the dirt. Principles, you see. Are all men this dumb? Instead of wasting time like that, why not help me? I'm going to destroy Lead Christ and the Night Blade. Doesn't that sound like fun? The Knight will belong to Amnesia. I'll even track down this Crimson Knight fellow and throw him at your feet! After that, it's up to you whether you want to flay him or burn him alive! <laughs> and in order to do that, you'll need the power of the Hollow Knight, EXS. Once you've become drunk with it, the power will eventually destroy you. At that point, you become a void. You know, I'd hate to see even a ditzy broad like you turn into a monster. As a friend, I warn you, quit while you're ahead. So that's why you tried to lead me from the abyss? To pierce the vessel? You came here to take everything from me with that damnable sickle of yours. It all makes sense now. Well, isn't this just wonderful? 
A once dear friend of mine has come to destroy me. Ah, oh, the drama. But I think I'll spare your life. After all, we go way back. Don't we, Gordel? Oh, man. Why do I care for my friend so much? Your time's up, Hilda. Or should I say, Paradox of Amnesia. It's time to destroy that vessel of yours with my claws. You really are incapable of mercy, aren't you? Even for an old friend. All right, Harvester. Take what you came here for. Old friend. Bye, Hilda. You are one hell of a woman. I suggest you keep a low profile for a while, Paradox. Especially considering those urban legends surrounding you. Welcome home, Gordo. Well, I wasn't worried about you. It's still nice to see you back in one piece. So, how did it go? It didn't. Man, that Hilda. She's still as crazy as always. <laughs> well, what did you expect? I mean, she's known around here as being quite the... Witch. Whenever you fight her, her appalling lack of tactical skill will always guarantee you a win. Well, it just goes to show how dumb she really is. Smashing the vessel inside her will quash her powers as an inbirth, for a time. Once it regenerates, it'll be a while before she risks being turned into a void. She could use the rest. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I ran into a young lady from Leaked Christ. In addition to Hilda, there were a lot of other inbirths wreaking havoc throughout the night. An executioner, acting alone? So... The Crimson Knight has yet to act? Things are getting worse. The Princess abandoning the Nightblade, Hilda and Kuan, and the coming Immortalize. With everything that has happened, it's only a matter of time before Elite Kreis responds. Or, so one would think, anyway. I guess it'll take a great deal more before they act. You make a good point there, my faithful manservant. No reason to rush into anything. I'll wait for things to drop into my lap. That's a good idea. Save it all for the next night. And who are you calling a servant? Wh whose servant am I supposed to be? Granted, I'm always on the receiving end, but still. You're taking all this way too seriously. Hey! Thanks for watching the video, and I hope you thoroughly enjoyed my pummeling of Hilda. If you want to see her keep getting pummeled, be sure to watch the other arcades as they get released. And if there are any hot chicks watching, I'm Gordo, the Harvester of Greed. If you want, you can catch me in the next night, or in any of the other arcade videos that I'm featured in. That'll be a sight for sore eyes, huh?